welcome back to the channel. Today we are doing our monthly OCD gaming news, talk about all the stuff that went down this last month for gaming. And there was so much that happened this month. Um, the first thing I want to talk about is the Game Awards. That was the night before PSX started. The Game Awards, they were, you know, some people had like, you know, loved it, some people hated it, whatever. Um, but the most important things I took away from it were the Death Stranding gameplay trailer. Um, Hideo Kojima's award, Jeff Keighley, was just, I mean, that was just a great moment. Um, it made me a little teary-eyed watching it, so if you haven't seen it, you should definitely check it out. Um, so after he got his award, uh, Kojima revealed um, the uh, new Death Stranding gameplay trailer that was just amazing. I did um, the reaction video for that and for The Walking Dead Season 3. Obviously, it was the night before I was leaving for PSX. I just wanted to take the most important parts that I wanted to see the most and uh, do a reaction video on it. There was lots of other good stuff on there, but like press for time, had to wake up at like four in the morning, crazy. But <clears throat> that video um, did the best performed the best that any video that I've ever done. It's at like 17,000 views um, and within like such a short time and so many new subscribers, like 100 new subscribers, new friends to the channel within a few days of me posting that video. So um, that was incredible. I was so blown away. I kept watching like this is, is this really happening? Is this like these numbers keep going up? This is insane. Like what's happening? So um, it just shows that hard work pays off, even though I was exhausted. I'm like, I got to do it. <laughs> um, and I'm so thankful that it did so well and it was uh, it was really well received. So I just want to give a shout out to everyone who's an oldie but goodie friend to the channel. You know who you are and all my new friends to the channel. So thanks so much for watching and subscribing and staying subscribed and supporting this channel. It means so much to me. Um, so that was incredible for me in my gaming news. Um, and I just want to thank you and welcome you to the channel. So thank you for sticking with us. We also saw the Walking Dead season three trailer, which I was just blown away by. So much to tear that um, trailer apart and we will have it in our hot little hands on Tuesday and I cannot wait to play that. It feels like forever. I'm finishing up season two on my channel now. I think I only have about tops two more parts to, to record and I'll try and get that out and we will still continue with The Last Guardian and um, and Watch Dogs 2 and there's just this so much that came out at once. It's hard to keep up with everything but I am doing my best. And I promise we will get to all that good stuff. I do want to keep playing The Last Guardian. Um, so I hope you guys watch that as well. Also at the Game Awards, which I was so happy that um, Nolan North won an award for playing Nathan Drake in Uncharted 4. Now, I know I have some hardcore Uncharted fans on this channel like me. And I knew that... My whole Uncharted crew was cheering when they heard that, that he won. Um, and it was weird because he went up against like um, Emily Rose, who plays Elena, and he went up against Troy Baker, who plays Sam. But did he deserve that award or what? He really did a great job. And the guy, Alex Hernandez, was also up for the award who played, um, you know, Lincoln Clay in Mafia 3, who was amazing. He was so good in it too. But Nolan North all the way, Team Uncharted all the way. I know my crew was happy that he had won that award. Well deserved. I was thrilled. This month, there were some huge releases. The Last Guardian, Final Fantasy XV came out. Um, so, so many people were like waiting forever for these games to come out. Ten years for these games to come out. And um, like I said, I never played Final Fantasy games, so um, I didn't get Final Fantasy 15. I'm trying to watch some playthroughs in between of me recording, you know, just to see how it is. I heard it's a, it's a very long game to play, but if you're a Final Fantasy fan, I hope you guys are enjoying it. Um, it looks beautiful. I mean, the world looks beautiful. And so I am thrilled for you guys who are waiting all this time for it to come out. I hope you are enjoying it. The Last Guardian, I am enjoying. The mechanics are a little wonky. I cannot lie. I'm going to just be honest with you. It is very frustrating at times, but the story of our two main characters of Trico and the boy and the world that we're in, it just makes up for it, you know, a thousand times over. So I can't wait to, I'm going to be playing that through the end. So keep a lookout for that as well. So a huge part of this month that was, um, 
on, you know, that I was so excited about was PSX. I was there and it was amazing. I know I've done some videos from it. If you haven't seen my live reaction in the audience in the show for The Last of Us Part 2, you have got to watch that. That is some real raw emotion. I was blown away. I was literally crying. I couldn't even see what I was recording. I was just like flipping my camera phone back and forth, just trying it to see it. And it was amazing. I was crying real ugly tears. It was no joke. I was so thrilled. Um, and the Uncharted 4 DLC. I mean, so many good things that came out of PSX. It was like a gamer nerd's dream and I was in heaven. So I was just like, this is insane. Um, you know, all of the game demos that were there. Um, I was able to meet Tim Schafer at the meet and greet. Um, you know, Kojima like was walked right past me and he was going for the meet and greet. The line was like, you know, you know, 40 blocks long to, to, to wait to see him. You know, he only had like an hour or two. So it was crazy. Um, I also met Greg Miller at the hotel I was staying at. Um, so Neil Druckmann and Arnie Meyer just like walking right past me, like, you know, two feet away. It was crazy, but it was so much fun. I was in heaven. I mean, even that first day, if nothing else happened after that, I still would have been fine. But Sunday we went back and just got really got to, to really just do and see everything else. And it was amazing. I am really hoping I'll be able to save up and go again next year. I'm gonna put up a picture of all the game releases within like the next, you know, 30 days or so. Um, the one that I'm looking forward to the most, besides The Walking Dead Season 3 on Tuesday, um, is going to be Resident Evil 7. I don't know how I'm gonna play it because if you've seen me play the demo of it, it's going to be a horror show. I, I don't know how I'm going to play it. I'm going to be screaming and yelling and hooting and hollering. It's going to be horrible. But I am going to play it. I'm going to play it. I am going to do my best. I'm going to be terrified, but I'm going to do it. So that's what I'm looking forward to the most within like the next 30 days of game new game releases. Um, and then we're going to hit 2017 like running. You know, it's going to be insane. So I'm really looking forward to so many games. Hopefully Days Gone is still coming out in 2017. Um, you know, they had originally said it was coming out to 2017. So 2017 is almost here. So, uh, Resident Evil, then it's, you know, um, Horizon Zero Dawn. I mean, this, this too many to name. So I'm so happy that we are getting so many wonderful games coming out in 2017. Oh, also Red Dead Redemption. I can't forget about that. I kind of think in the back of my mind that it really won't be out in 2017, but I'm hoping I'm keeping my fingers crossed the fall 2017 that they said they're going to keep true too. There's also going to be the stick, of tr uh, the stick of truth, South Parks, the fractured, but whole, you know, that whole thing coming out. So there's so many good games still waiting to be played in 2017. So I am really excited. Also heads up for everyone, anyone and everyone who wanted to buy the Nintendo NES mini system and couldn't get it or pre-order it in time before they sold out. Um, and if you weren't able to snatch snatch it um last month i think it was right before uh thanksgiving it came out um best buy will be stocking some limited supplies limited quantities at best buy stores in store only not online a limited supply so if you want to get the nintendo nes if you want to try and snatch that before they go on this is your heads up people do not sleep on it if you have the i think it was 40 bucks and all those games that is a good deal dudes so if you want to snatch them up you better be quick. Best Buy on Tuesday, December 20th, in-store only. So get down there and snatch yourself one. The time for my favorites of the month. No surprise here. It was pretty much everything at PSX. Everything that happened, everything I saw. My There's a few things. First was The Last of Us Part Two. I was hoping and praying they would announce it. And I'm like, I was... I still don't believe it's real. I'm so thrilled. I'm so happy. I'm such a huge Last of Us fan. I have played that game thousands, and I mean thousands of times. I could play that game with my eyes closed, and it still scares me and makes me happy and sad all the same time every time I play it. So it's brilliant. I can't wait to see what they're going to do. And I totally trust Naughty Dog to do the right thing by that game. I know it's going to be amazing. They're going to they're gonna do such a insane job with it. I mean, just think about how good Uncharted 2 was, you know, coming off the heels of Uncharted 1 when they did that. I mean, they just brought that to the next level. So I can't even imagine. I hope we see Bill and um, I hope we see maybe some new characters that we're going to love too. But so that was my favorite. 
the Last of Us Part Two announcement, the, the Uncharted 4 DLC announcement, meeting Tim Schafer and meeting Greg Miller was total highlights of my month. So those are my favorites of the month. I know there are a few, so I couldn't pick just one. I'm sorry. Um, my not so not so hot pick of the month. <laughs> and it's not even a bad thing. It's kind of like actually a good thing. Um, no days gone at PSX. Um, I was really looking forward to playing the demo. They were going to be there. They kept, you know, they were tweeting. I actually like tweeted at them like I can't wait to see, you know, to you know to play at PSX and um and then they just weren't. No news of them not being there, no news of them canceling. They just didn't show. And like nobody mentioned it, no one was talking about it. I was like, what is going on here? Like, I really had my hopes up that um, they were gonna be there and there was no explanation why. I even like tweeted uh, at them like, you know, am I missing like, are you guys here somewhere and I'm just not seeing it? But like, they were not there. Um, and I was so disappointed, but at the same time, maybe it's better. Maybe they're doing the smart thing. Maybe they are, you know, everyone else kind of oversaturates the market with their trailers and their gameplay. And then when you get the game, it's like kind of, you know, just, okay, yeah, I've seen this already. You know, a lot of a lot of game developers do that. But at the same time, we are like dying for content, like give us something. Um, but it should be out in 2017. So we won't have much longer to wait. Hopefully, maybe at E3, which is, you know, when they first announced it. So, I mean, hopefully we'll have something else, maybe within the next two, three months. Um, but I think it was kind of smarter them that did that. Um, I think we should just be totally surprised the closer it gets. Maybe they'll just drop a release date on us with like a trailer. Um, and that would be insane. So that's that's my like, you know, my not so favorite, uh, my miss of the month. But it's like in a good way because it's so good. I can't wait for it to come out that I'm just disappointed. I didn't see it or get to get my hands on it because that was my, oh, I wanted to play that so bad. Anyway. I will also be posting um, a video, like a montage video, of all the things I have saw at PSX, um, demo gameplays, just to see the atmosphere around there. Um, I took a ton of pictures. Uh, I posted a lot. If, you haven't, if you're not following me on Twitter and Instagram, you should. I post so many things. Um, I, there's a lot of PSX stuff on there as well. Uh, and just check out my page. It's o.c.deidre, D-E-I-D-R-E. Check it out. The links are on my YouTube homepage as well. If you are looking to follow me there as well, please do. You won't miss out on any information. And whoever does, thank you for following. Also, since we have the holidays coming up in the next, you know, oh God, what, like less than a week, right? This is crazy. One week from today, um, Christmas is coming. So whatever holidays you celebrate, whatever you celebrate or don't celebrate, um, I hope you have an amazing holiday, whatever you celebrate. Um, I hope you all have a very happy new year. I love you guys all for watching and supporting my videos so much. I'm so grateful to all of you. Thank you so much. Uh, I don't um, know what else to say. It's like the greatest gift you guys give me by supporting these videos, commenting, liking, please, you know, just that's so means so much to me. Thank you so much for doing that. I know there's so many channels out there. I appreciate everybody. So thank you so much for supporting me. It means the world to me. I will be doing um, an end of the year. I'll be doing my game of the year award. I didn't do one last year, you know, because I barely played, you know, I didn't play too many games last year. I started my channel kind of late in the year. But I think I'm going to start doing a yearly game of the year award uh, and some honorable mentions. So I hope you guys tune in for that. I'll do that like the day before New Year's Eve or something. Um, so that's it for this month's OCD Gaming News. I hope you will come back for more. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you guys so much. It means so much to me that you guys support this channel and watch this channel. Thank you for helping me become successful. It's only because of you guys that anyone, you know, that, that I'm able to do this. So thank you so much. I appreciate you guys. Um, so thanks so much for watching and I'll be back with more.